Up they go, and he's out. That's the end of Culloden. Well, Arnold making the catch there. It looked to me to be a good one too. He uh, he handles uh, the spinners very well, Cullinan. He tries to keep it down, and that was, uh, well, it was a dive from the silly point. Went uh, right across the front of Cullinan. Let's see if we can pick up the deflection. There we go. You can see it hardly goes anywhere, and what a good catch. Oh, beautifully taken. Arnold in fingertip, uh, right at the end of his fingers, he's got it and holds it up, and boy, there's uh, celebration out there because that's the wicket they wanted. He made an undefeated 100 in the first innings, and unfortunately now, Cullinan out for 12 off 30 deliveries, South Africa slump to 141 for four. So much good work for India. Oh, and, uh, that's it, that's out, caught behind, nice catch too, the ball bouncing a little bit. That's the end of Klusner. He didn't pick the bouncy ball. He was playing for the off-spinner. It was too close to him to cut. Nicely taken by Sangakara as well. I think he's measured up this young man as keep-up. It's tough for him. Just watch this. The overspin delivery. It goes straight through. It gets the top edge. He's read it beautifully, Sangakara. Sure, he caught it in the fingertips, but he caught it. That's what matters. And uh, look at the smile on Mathia Murali Duran's face. Up goes the finger, and South Africa have lost yet another one. Yes, Sangakara's fingers were in the right place, and Lance Kruster, he's gone. South Africa lose their fifth wicket for 153. <laughs> well, he's given him. It was right full on the front foot. Didn't bounce. And he didn't offer a shot. It's the end of Boucher. The early delivery Boucher did not play a sh stroke at all, padded at that one, and that one may be in the straighter one, we never know, it was hitting and spinning, but not played a shot there by Mark Boucher, that was in the mind of the umpire, he, in his opinion it would have been hit the wicket, and he's uh, sent Boucher back on his way. Boucher out for seven, South Africa in deep trouble, 163 for six, fall into a set pattern, no rhythm that he can really settle down into. And that one a big shot, and he's given out. And Pollock looks up to the heavens. He can't believe it. Murali Duran has got number 10. And Daryl Harper makes the decision. It's the end of Sean Pollock. Sean Pollock not happy at all. I really felt that bat was nowhere near that delivery. See the ball really come down. Straight onto the pad, the bat behind the pad. Did he touch a glove on the way up? That's a... That's the only thing that the umpire had to think about. That's the only one, but I felt that that was way behind. So I really didn't feel, I couldn't really say if he touched a glove on the way off. Uh, but Sean Pollock's gone for 12. South Africa, deeper in trouble, 193 for 7. And that's going to be close. Up goes the finger. It seemed that there was an error in judgment here from Nicky Boy. Now, what's interesting to see is if this ball would have ended up hitting the stumps because there seemed to be some turn here and i just get the feeling he's unlucky the mat's not out as yet the ball was spinning there was always a doubt that it might have missed off stump but watch where it pitches look at the ball if it pitched outside the leg stump but Nicky Boy is gone, umpire Peter Manu has decided, a very good innings, out for 35, South Africa 263 for 8. No one umpire's job isn't easy, he's taken the five wickets in an innings 21 times. Having said that, you have a better chance of watching where the ball pitches when a slow bowler is bowling. Oh, he's cleaned him up here, looking for the pig drive. Through a big gap on the offside. And in the end, just finding thin air. The ball sneaks through. South Africa have lost their ninth wicket. Modli Dharan has picked up his 12th. Going to have a big heave at that one, Paul Adams, going right through the gate. And Muthaya Muridharan picks up his sixth wicket. So Adams departs. Another wicket for Murli Dharan, 12 in the match. He's out for two, 269 for nine. There. And another one in identical faction. 13 wickets in the match for the champion off-spinner. 
Modley Darren has finished this innings in a hurry. Wickets of consecutive balls. And Sri Lanka have won this test match by an innings and 15 runs. It's their first victory over the South Africans in test match cricket. And it's come in this fashion. Dragging on the front foot, ball spinning back. Mutambaran hitting the spot and the Sri Lankans have won this test match by 15 runs in an innings. Antony getting the a duck. But the feature had been uh, John T. Rhodes, who made a 63, fighting 63. So delighted, Mulitran. Sri Lanka have had it all their way in this test match. They won the toss, decided to bat 522 on the board. They bundled out South Africa for 238 in their first innings, and then in the second innings, 269 all out. So Sri Lanka win their first test match against South Africa by an innings and 15 runs.